Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Chama. I'm a content creator based in Ontario, Canada. Guys, you're welcome. If this is your first time, please don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe to my channel. You can also turn on the bell notification so as to get notified whenever I post a video. Uh, please ignore my voice this morning. I have cold, so uh, my voice is kind of weird. I hope you can hear me. So guys, in today's video, we are going to be looking at this rural and northern immigration pilot program and we're going to be seeing everything about this program if you really want to come to canada this is one of the pathways to coming to canada okay this is rnip which is rural in um, rural northern immigration pilot program and this pilot program is a pathway to permanent residency for you and your entire family you need a low score of lcb4 and um, you need low proof of fund. You apply with just one year of experience. Apply from anywhere in Ca anywhere outside Canada. You don't necessarily need um, a degree to be qualified for this application. Okay, on 26th, 2022 of August, IRCC confirmed that this pilot program extension will go on until February 2024. Okay, so we're going to see all about this program. I'm also going to be leaving a link in my description box. So do it to check out uh, this website and everything that entails. I'm not going to be reading word for word. We're going to just word for word. We're going to, only going to be looking at um, the key key point. Okay, so that this video will not be too lengthy. So um, we're going to go first and um, click on this about the pilot. So let's read up what this pilot program is all about. This rural and northern immigration pilot is a community-driven program. It is designed to spread the benefits of economic immigration to smaller communities by creating a path to permanent residency for skilled foreign workers who wants to work and live in one of the participating communities. <coughs> So let's look at about the process, okay? There are four steps to applying for permanent residency under this program. One of the steps is check that you meet both requirements, which is IRCC eligible requirements and the community specific requirement. So you're gonna click on this shortly, but let's go down and read the requirement first. So the second one is find an eligible job with an employer in one of the participating community. That's the second one. Third, once you have a job offer, submit your application for recommendation to a community. Number four, if a community recommends you, apply for permanent residency. These are the four major steps, okay? Each community will also have its own additional eligible requirement, job search process, community recommendation application process. This information will be available on its website. So this is the participating community. How many are they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is 11 participating communities for this pilot program. Okay. So each community has their own website. Depend on the community that you wish to go, that's the community depends on the eligibility, okay? Like they told you here, they said additional eligibility requirement for each community. So if you see the general requirement, uh, don't just um, base your fact on the general requirement. Also open um, the particular province you want to go to to see if they have an additional requirement, okay? So this is it so what you can expect from a community this pilot is a um, this pilot is a community driven meaning the communities will assess prospective candidates who best fit the economic need of the community need a genuine employment opportunity to meet their community requirements have an intention have the intention of staying in that community so you, you don't go to a community that you know you don't have an intention of staying you must have an intention of staying with your in that community if you're coming with your family or you come alone recommend con, recommend candidate recommend candidates to permanent residency to IRCC for final decision 
connect newcomers with settlement services and mentoring opportunities with established members of the community. What can you can expect from the community? Look at some things you can expect from the community, some settlement services and all that that you can expect from the community, okay? <clears throat> So let's look at the second one that says who can apply. We recently updated the eligible requirement for permanent resident through this pilot. The requirement you must meet depends on whether you already applied for community recommendation and when you did. Answer a few questions to find out what eligibility requirement you must meet. Have you already applied for a community recommendation? So if you have applied for a community recommendation, you either click yes or no, okay? <clears throat> so this is how to find a job, which takes us to the third one. It says, we recently updated our job our job offer requirement for this pilot. The required job, the, the requirements your job offer must meet depend on the date you have applied for a community recommendation. Okay, answer these few questions. Have you already applied for community recommendation? Same questions, okay? So, apply for community recommendation. Let us see um, um, details about this community recommendation, okay? Each community has its own recommendation process. Community websites will tell you how the application process works and what documents you will need. When applying to a community for recommendation, you will be asked to provide supporting documents. Don't provide original version. You need them when you apply for permanent residence. Do provide copies of your document. General requirements. For all community applications, you must prove that you meet all the requirements for this pilot. Have an eligible job offer eligible job offer that is very important the nutshell of all this is having a job offer first that is the first step okay <clears throat> if a community recommends you you can apply for permanent residency look at the community website here so this is where you are going to click for the community recommendation okay so when the community first of all you have a job offer depending on the province you want to go and um you apply for community recommendation through any of these websites okay so we take on we takes us to the next one let's click below which apply for permanent residency when you've done when you've been given a job offer and you've done your community recommendation so you need to give your biometrics okay in most cases you now need to give your fingerprints and photos which is about metrics after you apply <clears throat> so find out who needs to give our metrics and how the new application process works so important information here make sure you are applying for the right program based on your previous work experience if you apply for the wrong program and do not have the work experience required for that program your application for permanent residency will be refused take notes so how to apply you must now apply online as of september 23 2022 it is now mandatory to apply online if you can apply online and require recommendation including a disability you can ask for application in another format which is in paper in burial and or in large print in ballet so sign in or create a permanent resident online application portal so if you want to create a portal once you start up an application on how to apply you start with this step by creating, creating a portal. Click on this and it will direct you to where to create a portal. Okay. Get the instruction guide. This are the instruction guide. Use your use our instruction guides to fill out the form properly. <clears throat> so to avoid any kind of mistake, you are going to use all this instruction guide to fill out your information properly. Okay. And you must also fill this PDF form. 
So these are the PDF form you can also you can click on it to take you to the PDF form that you're going to fill and complete and sign the PDF form if you if they apply to you. So I'm just bringing your attention to this, okay, so that you open it and go through this and um, know more about it, okay. Look at the form for employer to fill out. This is the form for your employer to fill out the employer that gives you a job offer. Offer of employment to a foreign national, okay? So they'll fill out all this, print it and submit by my hand, make a copy and send to you, okay? <coughs> so form for the designated economic development organization of the participating community to fill out. Look at the tips for downloading and filling out the application form and use an immigration representative. If you want to use an immigration representative, fill out how you can create an employment and submit application on behalf of your client. This is for those who, who don't want to do it by themselves and they need a representative. You have to fill up this. You have to go through this process. Okay, now let's. You can read this up and um, on your own. Okay, if you have applied for permanent residency under the rural and northern immigration pilot program, you may also be eligible for a one year work permit. The work permit lets you work while your permanent residence application is being processed. To qualify for work permit, you must have eligible offer of employment from your employer have a recommendation from a participating community, be eligible to apply for work permit, and have received an acknowledgement of receipt, receipt letter from us. This work permit is only for rural and not an immigration pilot. Is a one is valid for one year, only lets you work for employer who offer you the job in participating community. <clears throat> so the work permit for spouse or common law, they uh, um, they can apply for open work permit at the same time as you apply for one year work permit. Their work permits will only let them work in the same community as you. So they will have an open work permit. They can work in anywhere but in the same community where you apply for work. They can go to another province. Probably you are in Ontario and you expect them to or they want to go and work in Manitoba or in Alberta. It's not permitted. You have to work in Ontario where you where you in where you um, applied for your a MURA and not an immigration pilot program. So do where to check this out, okay? For those of you who want to come to Canada, this is an opportunity for you. This pilot program is open until 2024. We are in year 2022, so you have a lot of time to do this and um, apply, okay? Let's click on find job or how to find the job for, uh, for job offer, okay? It still takes us to have you apply for community. Okay, let's just let's assume you've applied. Let's apply. Let's click on yes. When you apply for a community recommendation on or on or before September 2022, 20, 20, between the asking you when. Okay, let's click on November. You apply for a community recommendation on or after November 2022 to find jobs. As a candidate, you must have a genuine job offer to work at least one of the participating community. In addition to the requirement on this page, each community will have their own requirement and job search process. To find job, you must follow the instruction on their website. You see that once you have a job offer, you must uh, meet all the requirements. You can apply for community recommendation. Okay, so this place is telling us your wage must be I see job a minimum wage. So most of this job can be found even in job bank. I wanted to say that before. You can find this job in job banks also. And sometimes you can also check out their description. There are no description. You can check out this about the process. Like I told you before at the beginning of this video. Uh, below, this is the website. This is all about the website and now you can get a job. 
let me click on one which is the not bay this is the not bay the extension classification and orders offer of employment submission information for employment information for application so this is their own information okay so everything you need to know will be here how to get a job will also be here okay look at it august 26 2022 immigration refugee and citizens have confirmed that the pilot extension pilot extension until february 2024 like i said before it extended to 2024 of february okay so Communities can issue recommendation until February 2024 and candidates will have until August 2024 to submit their permanent residency application to IRCC. Find information here. So do where to check out all this information, okay? Do where to check out. Everything is so easy. You have links, a lot of links here to, to guide you, okay? Do where to check this out and... Um, and I wish you all the very best. I don't want this video to be too long, so I won't be going into deep, deep details on every provinces. So just do what to check it out, okay? Thank you guys for watching. If you watch up until now, and I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye.